90% hear this in America, right? Of women file for divorce. Not men. Men don't live. It's women that live. And out of that 90%, are you getting this? Out of that 90%, if they are put in place, 88%, all of them left when they got more money than the men. Women always leave when they think they have power over the men. Hear this now. Hear this. Hear this so you understand the power of a father. Every, from the statistics of uh, people who commit crimes, over 70% are people who were raised by a mother only. Guess what now? When the mother is not there and the father is raising, 90% of them don't go to jail. These are statistics on the this is an American society. 90% of single fathers who raise their child as a father, they don't go to jail. Over 70% of all ladies that raise their children, their children go to hell, go to jail, all of them. 70. And guess what? And guess what? If they can go there, they are being led to hell. Because it's not, there is, a woman is no ability to raise a child. No, she need her ass pulled. Because I don't know if it's that her grandma. But y'all, let me tell you something. I would take that little girl by her neck. What in the world is... She got to be on some medicine. It got to be something wrong with her. Y'all, do you see this? Uh, she made this mess, y'all. And they standing there letting her do it. And her grandma will have to pay for this. This girl is crazy. But y'all see this? Oh my God, the last time I over here, a damn car came through the, through the door. And now this little girl in here tearing up, and her grandparents let her do it. I would not hurt the boy. Oh my God, y'all. Baby, give me the permission. Give me the permission. Give me the permission, baby, honey. I would knock that purple shirt off her. You hear me? Oh my God. Proverbs 22 and 15, and it says, Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakak Wadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four winds of the earth. And shalom to you few sisters out there as well. This is Brother Ariel coming at you with another lesson, man. Okay? And you saw in the first video how, you know, the the guy was explaining how a woman really can't raise a child, man. Okay? And in most instances, a woman, you know, when it comes to her mental capacity is nothing more than a child herself. Right? So that's basically a child raising a child. And this is why a man is needed uh, in the household, man, you know, to guide the household, you know, guide the child, man, right? And whoop the child's ass if need be, okay? And that's what you saw in the second video, you know, that the woman, I mean, uh, you know, the child was not being controlled, man, by the woman. Now, if her father would have been there, none of that would have been happening, okay? But the way that these little, uh, <laughs> these little nigglets are being raised, Okay, they're being raised uh, to not have accountability. You know, they're being raised, they're raising them like, you know, they're little princesses, you know, and that they can do no wrong, right? And and for the most part, uh, correction doesn't come upon them. So they feel like they can do uh, whatever they feel, man, okay?
okay? But this is why, you know, you got to whoop your child's ass, man. And that little girl was definitely in need of an ass whooping, man. And this is uh, Proverbs 22 and 6, and it says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Right? Well, just like I was explaining earlier, these children are, are trained up to not be accountable for their actions. Right? And they're trained to be pretty much uh, to be uh, demons, man. You know, and this is why a majority of these children out here act like this, man. And you best believe when the evil days come, a majority of these children will be put to death, man. Okay? So just like we're training our children, you know, on the on the right-hand side of righteousness, you know, the two-thirds are training their children on the left-hand side, man, to do nothing uh, but wickedness. And this is why this is being seen uh, day in and day out, man. Okay? Because, you know, people just don't give a shit anymore, man. They, they, they leave their children to their own devices, man. Okay? And literally, man, as far as the tablets and, you know, the phone and all that, the internet, right? And this is what goes on out here, man. And these children are straight up demons, man. You know? And, and many people don't know that, you know, demons travel through the internet, man. Okay? And come into and enter into children, man. Okay, and and men, men and women as well, man. Right? Let me get uh. This is why the father is needed, man. But you know, this is what the heavenly father uh, put forth, man. You know, and uh, Deuteronomy twenty-eight and fifty-four. But let me get De Deuteronomy uh twenty-one and eighteen real quick, man. Uh, 118 through 21, okay, and it says, If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastened him will not hearken unto them, then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of the city and unto the gate of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of the city this our son is stubborn and rebellious he will not obey our voice he is a glutton and a drunkard and all the men of his city shall stone him with stones that he die so shalt thou put evil away from among you and all israel shall hear and fear right and this was a definite uh definitely a custom of ours man that needs to be brought back man okay but it won't have to be used in the kingdom because, you know, righteousness will be within us and we'll know how to uh, to act. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, you know, obey all the laws and statutes and commandments of the Heavenly Father, man, because it'll be embedded in us. But this in these days and times, this is definitely needed, man, because you got a lot of uh, wicked ass children out there, a lot of disrespectful, you know, children out here, man. But you can't do this in these days and times because you, you know, you'll be demonized, man, so to speak. You know? Let me get Proverbs 13 and 20. Uh, Proverbs uh, 13 and 24. Right? And it says, He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him bedtimes, man. Okay? This is why you gotta whoop these children's ass, man. Okay? You gotta you gotta whoop their ass. You know? Not all the time. You know, just whooping them constantly, man. But when they step out of line or being disrespectful or getting mouthy, you know, or rolling their eyes or, you know, talking to you like you're their friend that's on the street, you gotta whoop their ass, man. You gotta nip that shit in the bud, right? Quick. Okay? Don't let the small things slide, you know. You ain't always got to hit them, but you always constantly got to correct these children, man. Okay? Because they're getting outside influences from these kids in these schools, man. You know? So, he that spared his rod hated his son. Right? And a lot of uh, two-thirds have given up on their children, man. They don't even beat them no more. You know? 
I remember, you know, in the 80s when I was coming up, man, a, a, a ass whooping was normal, man. You know, especially you be over your grandmother house. She'll send you out to get a switch to whoop your ass, man. You know, or already have one in the closet, you know, have a switch uh, prepared for you. <laughs> you know, that's how it was. But nowadays, um, Esau is making it illegal for you to even, you know, whoop your child, man, or discipline your child. You know, if you do, then you'll lose a child and you'll face jail time. But this is all done by design by, uh, you know, Esau, which the Heavenly Father put the spirit on him to do. You know why? Because prison is big business. So if you don't chast if you don't chasten your child, then where is your child going to end up eventually, man? In the prison systems, man. OK. Which further proves that we're in the land of our uh, captivity, man. OK. Because at the end of the day, Israel is big on, on whooping a child's ass. And that's something else that Esau has taken away from us, man. This is why all of these children are running amok and being super disrespectful, man. You know? Let's get Proverbs 29 and 15. Stay here in the book of Proverbs. It says, it says the rod and reproof give wisdom. Right? But a child left to himself bringing his mother to shame. You know, this is why you always got to uh, constantly be on your children, man. Okay? And whooping their ass and, and, and correcting them gives them wisdom. You know? And it lets them know that, you know, you shouldn't be doing this. You know, rather do this instead, man. You know? But if you continue to do this, I'm going to whoop your ass. And that's how it's supposed to be, man. Okay? You're not supposed to say, oh, they did something messed up. Oh, well, you know, whatever. I'll let it slide. I ain't going to do nothing about it, man. You know, that's not parenting at the end of the day. But this is what's going on because there are no fathers in the household, man. You know, let's get let's get that. Deuteronomy 28 and 54. Salakia. And it says, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave, man. Okay. And this is something that the Heavenly Father set up, man. You know, for, for, for the man to leave, you know, the household, man. You know, for the woman to sit there and, you know, bring up the household, man. That's why the scriptures say a woman shall uh, compass a man and also says that, uh, you know, women and children shall rule over you, man. Right. So this is how the heavenly father has got it. This is, per this is part of the curses here, man. You know, and this is why we, we see this because there's no father in the household to correct the children. You know, a woman doesn't scare a child like that. A woman can't, uh, you know, discipline a child like a man can. You know, a woman tries to play that role. But she doesn't really uh, play that role very well. She tries to, but she can't. She can never discipline a child like a man can, right? All you, all a man got to do is give a child a certain look, and that child is stopping his tracks and think about what it's doing, you know? Women can't do that, man. Let me get, uh, let's get uh, Proverbs. 23 Proverbs 23 let's get 13 and 14 and it says withhold not correction from the child for if thou beatest him with the rod he shall not die thou shalt beat him with the rod and shalt deliver his soul from hell man okay meaning a condition or in this case meaning the grave, man. Okay? So a man needs to be in the household, man, to correct the child. This is why a lot of our children out here, or a lot of the children out here, Israelite children, are dying at a fast rate. Because they're not getting correction from the rod, man. Okay? Which is the <laughs> pretty much the modern day belt, man. All right? Or switch or, or whatever you want to use. A plastic hanger house slippers you know whatever you can pretty much grab that's within reach 
you know, to, to whoop that ass, okay? But that's not happening in the households, man. You know, you're starting to see more and more that the children are running the household, man. You know, the, ch the children have the, uh, you know, the mother afraid, man. And in some cases, the father too, you know? So it says, withhold not correction from the child, for if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Thou shalt beat him with the rod and shalt deliver his soul from hell, man. Okay? These children are, are straight up uh, monsters out here, man. That's why a lot of them are going to be put to death, man. You know? And rightfully so. Let me get a... Uh, the second address 5 and 8 real quick. It says, There shall be a confusion also in many places... And the fire shall be off set out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters, man. Okay, and that was a, a perfect representation of a, a, a monster right there, as far as that little that little girl, man. Okay, and it's also talking about monsters as well as you know, childs coming out deformed and actually looking like monsters, man. But this little girl, she looked normal, but she was a monster and a demon. In the spirit, man, as you've seen, you know, sitting up in there, uh, breaking everything up, throwing shit, you know, I, her mother or her grandmother, I don't know which one it was, but it was completely out of line and completely disrespectful, you know, and that little girl definitely needs her little ass whoop, man. She needs correction, okay? Because if not, she's going to end up dead, man, in hell, in the grave, man, okay? And a lot of these badass children are going to uh, face a horrible death, man, okay? A lot of these children. Let's get Deuteronomy 11, uh, 11 and 18 real quick, man, and I'll end it here. 18 and 19, and it says, Therefore shall you lay up these words in your heart and in your soul and bind them for a sign upon your hand, that they may be as frontlets between your eyes. And ye shall teach them, your children, speaking of them, when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And this is talking about the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay? And this should be in every household, man, but it's not. And this is why we're seeing you know, the things uh, go down the way they are going down, man. This is yet another reason why I can't wait for the kingdom to, uh, to come, okay? Because these, these law, statutes, and commandments will be embedded in us and our children, okay? And our wives, so on and so forth, man. All of us. We won't have to worry about seeing the disrespectful acts of little children anymore, man. You know, being disrespectful and, and, disrespectful and running them up. And, you know, doing things like this, going into the store and, and basically embarrassing not only, you know, her mother or grandmother, whoever that was, but herself as well, man. You know, all of this bullshit that we're seeing will be put to an end, man. And I can't wait for that day. So I just wanted to bring this out real quick. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to say shalom to the next one.